Hi guys, good evening. Welcome back once again to The Edward. I'm your host, Eddie, and in tonight's video, I will be doing my episode review for the most recent and darkest episode of The Mist, which premiered earlier this week on Thursday night. Whew! I mean, damn! Wow! Shit, now, before I start gushing, gushing and going over it over and over again and again, uh, please be warned that this video review will be full of uh, massive spoilers, big spoilers. A lot of shit went down in uh, this episode, so if you're not caught up on the mess by this episode or a couple of episodes, uh, do not keep watching or listening as I will be going into spoilers. So with that being said, you have been warned. Uh, shit, man, this was like the darkest episode to date. I mean, fuck, I was just like... I had my, my, my mouth was hanging open at several different scenes. I was like, what the, what the fuck? Like, I'm watching this. I'm like, what the fuck is going on there? What, what the hell? I mean, damn, this was, this shit was dark, man. I mean, Christ, we had, first off, we had a revelation as to who finally raped Alex. Turns out, spoiler alert, it was Adrian, her friend. And it turns out he's not just some high school social misfit like we all thought he was. Nope, he's got some serious, serious issues. He said that he couldn't stand losing her to someone like Jay, so he slipped her the pills and then he raped her. And of course, you know, blamed Jay for it, made him look like the perfect suspect. And uh, so now we know the truth, and Kevin knows the truth, and he only knows the truth because when he was going through his medicine cabinet to treat his wound, you know, he found... The pills that the nurse told him was it found in her system and then you know adrian tried to kill him of course and he first you know he kills his father and his father was a prick but you know his dad you know his dad may not have been necessary may not have been necessarily wrong about how fucked up his son was you know i didn't agree with the way he was speaking to him and treating him you know it's saying oh well you know men like women so i guess we're both fucked up or something i mean that was just that was pretty hurtful. You shouldn't say that to your kid, but especially a kid as troubled as Adrian. I mean, obviously he's got some serious, serious issues. I mean, he just lost his his poor mother. He shot and murdered his own father. He tried to kill Kevin, and now uh, you know he's gonna tr he's gonna go back to the mall and uh, try to take care of the rest of the family. And then we saw Natalie, the police chief, and two other survivors from the church decide to leave the church to get to the mall so they can start making sacrificial lambs of everybody there or the trespassers against Mother Nature. And then they lock the other remaining people who don't want to go through the mist in the church and set it on fire. What the fuck, man? And the police chief is willingly going along with it. Seriously, and then in the opening scene of the episode, I don't know what my purpose is. I don't know what to do with myself. You don't know what to do with yourself, and you became a police chief. You have no idea what the fuck you're doing when raising your son on your own, and you became a police chief. Yeah, good, good career move there. That's 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 smart. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. And then, and then just to top it all off, up until this moment. Up until this episode, my favorite character was Gus, the mall manager. And I didn't really think anything of it with him like, having his own food supply. I thought it was a little sneaky, but I didn't think it was anything that was going to be that dark. But no, he went fucking dark. You know, when Shelly called him out on his food hoarding and how she was threatening to reveal it to the rest of the mall because, you know, he th he first said to her, well, I'm going to tell everybody it was you who set the fire. And then she's like, oh, yeah, well, I'm going to tell everybody that you've been uh, hoarding food this whole time and that's going to get you thrown out of the mall. He hits her with some kind of, like, I don't know what it, it was like, um, it looks like a, a, a vase, a heavy vase or, or statue, some kind of display piece of some kind. It's a blunt object. She He smacks her with it and it looks like it kills her because, you know, she's lying on her back and she's bleeding out profusely. And then to finish her off, he strangles her and then he says something like, go back to your daughter. I was like, Jesus, man. Damn, Gus. Damn. I mean, that's fucking dark. You know, he's like, go back to your daughter. And he's like strangling this woman who's dying from a massive head trauma. I mean, Jesus. 
shit, man. This was like, this episode was great. You know, it was great, but it was fucking dark, man. And, you know, finally, people, everybody's starting to converge on the mall. You know, we've got the remaining church members heading to the mall to start, of course, purging the trespassers. And uh, now, uh, you know, our uh, main group, uh, with the exception of Kevin, who was left behind, and of course, Adrian claimed that he was dead, killed by his dad, left in the house, and the other characters are now heading to the mall as well. And I'm sure Kevin, once he comes to, will make his way to the mall on foot. It'll be risky, but hopefully he makes there in time to reveal the truth about Adrian and to save his daughter and wife from him, uh, whatever he has planned for him. And then, uh, so everybody's going to converge on the mall, which will be great, but it feels like things are really starting to come to a head in the mall, especially now that Gus has fingered Alex, blaming her for Shelly's murder, and uh, claiming, you know, oh, I uh, I saw Alex run off, you know, yeah, she she did this, she killed her, you know, I think Shelly was onto something, I think she's right, that there's something about Alex in the mist, because he was trying to calm all that shit down, but now, of course, he's using that to his advantage, because he just murdered this woman. Woman, so he's blaming it on the on the on the uh, rape victim. I mean, god damn. And now after this episode, I kind of feel bad that I had suspected Jay this whole time. I mean, I was a little suspicious it wasn't him, but most of me felt like it was him. And like I said, I was a part of me that felt like it wasn't him. Like, well, who else could it be? Could it be the football jock that Adrian had sex with in the hospital? Could it be Adrian? Sure enough, it was Adrian. I mean, Jesus, this episode was so dark, but also so good. And we've got two episodes left in the season. We have next week and then the season finale after that. Unfortunately, I will miss next week's episode because I will be out of town on vacation for about a week and a half. But as soon as I catch up on The Mist and I watch it, I will be doing my review for you guys as soon as I can. But damn, man, good episode, but dark as hell. I mean, what did you guys think of this episode? Like it, love it, hate it, anything that surprised you or threw you off, or in terms of how dark and shitty, shit, like uh, how much shit went down, please leave your thoughts, opinions, and your feedback down below in the comments section. I'd love to hear from everybody. You may disagree with one another, of course, but let's please keep the comments civil, be respectful of one another's beliefs, and uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more content and videos like this one. So The Mist premieres with, uh, has two episodes left in season one. Next week and the week after will be the season finale make sure you catch them both on spike tv every thursday night have a great rest of the night and weekend if i don't see you guys again and of course until next time may the force be with you